I think like uh, for me, it's like I just try to go to different cities in Ohio. <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> you know, know it's it's like, like just a, connect with a different scene. Yeah, tour doesn't mean let's go to California. Let's let's right. do the PCH. It's like that's outrageous for your first tour. You're probably gonna lose money. <laughs> right. I also like to just connect with people in different cities that are kind of doing the same thing and try to find those people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know and, a bunch of guys up in Cleveland doing the same thing I'm doing. I invite them down and like let's do shows together. You know? Show trades are, I mean, the the, the thing. Like, Easy you stuff. Can find a band that's kind of like crushing up in Cleveland. That they're probably going to bring more people to a show in Cleveland than if you book your own show. So you might as well open for them at least a few times. Right. Um, and then even in Columbus, like there's bands I know. You said you went to the Palette Night show last night. Those guys played like crowd was great, 50 too. times in Columbus last year, and then they sold out Ace of Cups last night. Wow. Audience, they do house shows. Those guys used to play anything, mm -hmm. but they just wanted to play. And, and part of it was to get better, and the other part was just to network with other bands. And we have a pretty cool like uh, music scene here, um, so don't discount that. I don't know if you should, you know, put all your focus on that or all your focus on like, oh, I want to get out of town as fast as I can. I know bands that do that. Um, but yeah, just build the network. That, that'll definitely help you get shows. Yeah, I mean, like, my biggest thing is try to be supportive of other people mm -hmm. and not think about yourself, which is really yeah. hard because you're like, how do I get myself up? But it's like, well, you gotta support other artists mm -hmm. um, and invite them. I'm constantly inviting people to do house shows and stuff and trying to get them into my community. Um, what about like? I don't. This is kind of turning a point, but um, you guys kind of get lumped into the reggae scene. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how. <laughs> Which is like, funny because like Trevor doesn't play song reggae. That's one drop. That's, yeah. <laughs> so you guys do a lot of the Cali rock. You're, I think you're doing Cali. Is it Cali Vibes Fest or something next week? We are. That's next week. Yeah. So like, being like in that Jack scene. Jack Johnson's playing. I don't even know. Like, is he reggae? Jack Johnson? Mm -hmm. no, he's as reggae as we are. Yes. <laughs> he's not like reggae. Yeah, exactly. It's like. Um. So. I guess this is kind of a fun question, but like, has that brought you into, brought you into some like exotic locations, festivals, like any of one-offs like that? And can you tell us any about uh, fun stories about that? Yeah, Trev has has some interesting pockets of fans. Um, like we got to go to Costa Rica and play. That was one of the more interesting ones because I we played not in San Jose, which is the only big city there, I think. We played like four hours outside of it and in the jungle and you know you're driving through nothing and four hours later there's a huge stage with like all this music here I'm like how did you guys even get this here wow <laughs> and i remember getting the backline kit and like it's just it's bunk <laughs> and i'm like still stoked i'm like I, you know gaff tape it together i don't care we're in Costa Rica. this is awesome <laughs> like whatever's clever i'll play whatever i'm just grateful to be here but um we did that we did uh but that would be like the more exotic one. I mean, we play like Australia, Hawaii, stuff like that. Australia, that's, that's awesome. Cool. That's cool. Yeah. That's like bougie. Yeah. Like, <laughs> where, where'd you play Australia? Uh, Melbourne, Sydney. Was that a festival? We played Byron Bay Blues Fest. Today, okay. Um, which I think is my favorite festival. If you guys ever get to go to Byron Bay, man, it's like the festival. It's super cool. Um, but what's north? North of what's north is cool. North of Byron Bay, north oh. north side, north uh, in Australia. Yeah, northeast. If anybody has anybody's Australian geography, <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> Not <laughs> it's <just> Yeah, <laughs> I, there's another city we went to. But Sydney? I don't know. Right? Well, Alcatraz? we went to Sydney. Oh wait, that's not. <laughs> we went to Sydney. <laughs> that's not that's a um, Yeah, that game was all about fighting jet lag the whole time. Oh jeez. Yeah, because you land and then the next day you have a show. Wow, fifteen-hour flight, <laughs> um, and then we we're playing Mexico this December, I think. Oh, nice. I don't know if I'm supposed to announce that. But <laughs> that just it's came, out. I just got an email like three days ago, so wow. it's probably not public yet. That's crazy. Um, so I know we're doing Mexico. That'll be a fun one because that's a resort fest. So they book you for like five days, but you only play one show and you just chill. Nice. Um, and it's in December, so I'll get to leave Ohio. So that one sucks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, music. I mean, music can take you to some really cool spots. I've I did a small tour, of, like a thing in South Korea with an artist wow. way back, and um, I forget where else I've done. But it's 
you know, I would have done like 5% of the traveling I've done at Film Art for Music. So sometimes the pay isn't great, but the experience actually is worth, you know, the price of admission to get there. Yeah. Um, so I, I definitely recommend if you have the opportunity to travel or if you just want to create the opportunity, it is a grind, but absolutely it's, it's worth it.